Right, hello folks, welcome back to another episode. This week I brought you down to Brighton Beach. Uh, we're gonna give squid fishing a go. Now I don't, I've never even given squid fishing a go, um, but I'm here, I've done it with Cliff as well, we're gonna have a go. Um, we're at the low tide mark at the minute, which I'm, <laughs> I think to be honest is the wrong time of tide where we wanna be fishing. We wanna be fishing it a bit further up. We're gonna give it a go and see how we get on. Um, I'm gonna show you the squid jigs that we got. And um, like I say, you guys will follow the journey and hopefully it'll be a good one. The gear that we're using tonight is just my H2O Nebula lure fishing rod and the Pen Pursuit 4000 size reel. For those of you that don't know what a squid jig is, this is a squid jig. So it's kind of like a shape like a prawn. It's got a weighted bit here at the top. And then on the bottom, you've got some sets of prongs. And the idea is that the squid will come up behind this and grab onto it and then get stuck on these prongs and arms here. That's what we're going to be using tonight. Um, and then I've got a box of squid jigs and I'm literally just clipping them on with the same clip I use uh, to clip on my lures, which is the Breakaway Mini Link. Um, this is the one I'm starting with then, so it's a pink, I think they're H2O um, lures. I think they are H2O lures. Uh, and I've just got a range of different colours in here. So you've got your pinks, your blues, your oranges. And then on the other side of the box, we've got some slightly smaller ones, uh, which are here. There you go. So the, the sizes I've got are 2.5, and then the slightly larger ones are 3.5. Um, again, it doesn't really mean much to me, but it might mean stuff to other people. I'm just going to give it a go, see how we get on. I say oh, I'm not hoping for much, but you know, if we can catch a couple of squid. Jobs are good, and it'll be hopefully a good video. So yeah, uh, stay tuned, and we'll see if we can catch a squid. Right. So like I said, I have literally no idea how to squid fish. Um, <laughs> We're going to give it a go, and like I say, I just literally hope for the best. Um, I've got a lady that's gone out to the right of me. Um, she doesn't look like she's wearing much, but she's gone out, and um, I say, we're going to give it a go. So I've been told to cast it out, let it hit the bottom, and then we're just going to slowly, really slowly just retrieve it back. And lift it up a bit down I say as the night goes on hopefully we'll get a bit better at it I say I don't really have a clue what I'm doing at the minute but we're out here giving it a go and that's all that matters really slow wait and see where that woman's gone because I really don't want to stick a squid jig into a lady's leg. First cast, absolutely nothing. I feel a little bit confident now, so I'm going to give it a bit of a, a bit of a bit of beans. Laid it right over to the other side of me, so I'm going to literally bang that straight out. That's gone into the water. I'm going to wind up, and then literally just lift up and pop down. So I literally have no idea what I'm doing here apart from reading on a couple of um, Facebook forums just that you reel really slowly and then give the other page a twitch
thought I felt a tug on that then. So I'm going to reel it in and see. Have you got anything on there? No. Right, I definitely need to work on my technique here. Slowly is the name of the game. Nice big waves coming in now. How you doing? Oh, I was just saw a bit of white bait dance across the top of the surface then. Huh? <laughs> Oh, you said you had one then? Oh, it's a nice bit of seaweed there. Right, so we're going back out again. Cliff, go real really slowly. Really slowly and give it a couple of pauses. Right guys, so there it is, there's my first caught squid on the smaller lure, we changed up to the smaller 2.5 lure and there is my first caught squid on a squid jig, I'm absolutely over the moon, I can't believe it. Hopefully we'll get into some more, we're going to dispatch this one, get them in my cool box and uh, yeah, let's do some more fishing, get in! Right, so there you go, it's Cliff's first squid, look at the size of that squid man, holy sugar! That is absolutely huge, mate. That was a lovely one. That's a freaking awesome squid. Oh, mate. I'll get a picture of that. Yeah. I'll get here, my son. Look at the size of it. Look at it. What a weird creature. Look at the coloration on there as well. Absolutely insane. Stunning. First time squid jigging. Look at the size of the, the jig to the squid. Absolutely crazy. There we go. Let's catch some more fish, man. Look at that. That was mental, the one that Cliff got. Literally covered in ink. Crazy, just go to show you that it changed the size of the lure even when you're squid jigging. Just a, just a small change of the size of the lure and away you go again. <laughs> that was absolutely crazy. I said we are complete amateurs to this, we've never been squid jigging before. We just literally took some advice from a couple of friends. I'm gonna give it a go. Hopefully, I'll say hopefully it's good. Look, I've got ink all over my finger. It's definitely a fun, fun type of fishing. It's 
real, really slow. You in the game? No way. So Cliff's in the game. I'm just gonna come over and film Cliff. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I think we might need a new battery. There we go, hopefully you can see it now. So Cliff's reeling in a squid. Is still one? It's coming out now. There we go. Absolutely awesome. Well done, mate. Passing out, letting it drop, and giving it a couple of taps on the rod, and then reeling it really slowly. to work on my technique but you know, what is right what is wrong it's all a learning process tonight complete learning process but we've hit target which is cool all right so i'll be messing around with the um smaller squid jig i've now gone over to this one here uh the orange one and we'll see if we can try and have a bit of luck with this one it seems to have gone a little bit quiet at the minute, but I am told that as the tide increases, hopefully so will the squid. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, no, again, nonetheless, it is still very, very fun and very, very simple way of fishing. I mean, literally anyone could do this. It's more in the technique than the... I would say it's more in the technique. If you can get the technique right, then you, you quid's in. Which is very difficult because I'm used to like reeling in lures and, and giving it you know constant reeling and you know and slow reel, slow reel, slow reel, stop, slow reel, stop. I'm not used to just reeling it, giving it a twitch and then leaving it for a couple of seconds and then continuing that same pattern. It's a very, very slow way of fishing. So if we're doing it right. I mean Cliff's had an absolute monster. I think Chris had two now, I've had one. And I think we're about 20 minutes into the session and we got here at low tide. So I mean, hopefully as the tide comes up, and we get further through the session, we can bag a couple more. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy that we managed to catch one. Slow, slow.
I'm going to try and cast this out a little bit further now. A little bit more. I have a little tap then on my jig. Can't feel anything pulling it at the moment. That was like a little tap. go for a walk down the beach a bit further I think. Right folks we've had a good start to the session we've got three in the bag Cliff's had two I've just had the one and a really nice size one for Cliff so far um, as you've seen on the video um, yeah it's been pretty quiet to be fair over the last hour or so we've been fishing so we got here at about eight o'clock which was low tide um, and then we had the first couple of uh, squid in the first hour uh, and now we're about ten o'clock so we're still waiting for the full, full rise of the tide so I'm hoping that on the as the tide rises up even more we might get into some more squid that is the hopefully the fingers crossed plan but yeah it's really enjoying it uh, it's quite difficult and quite different to what I'm usually used to um, just really slowly reeling in with the odd occasional like little little tap here and there but yeah still good fun and uh, hopefully we'll catch some more another thing what you can do is you can charge these up with a UV torch so ultraviolet torch and I've got this ultraviolet torch here by Akios and Anova and I'm just going to charge this squid jig up here and then we will turn the lights out and uh, I'll show you the glow so these uh, squid jigs that we're using are the uh, H2O I believe they're called hot coats Let's turn that light off and see if you can see the glow yeah, ever so slightly. There we go, that's a bit better. So you can see the glow there now. There we go. Alright, just a quick update. Not much is happening at all. It is really quiet. Uh, the sea's picked up quite a nice bit of chop actually to be fair. And I'm pretty sure that when you're fishing for squid, uh, it's better when it's flat calm. Uh, also in the distance as well, there seems to be some lightning strikes happening out in the channel. Uh, hopefully they will stay away from where we are.
so I really can't be down with uh, getting electrocuted that wouldn't be fun so yeah all in all a pretty slow evening to be fair uh, we're about two and a half hours away from the top of the tide I'm uh, really hoping that the fishing does switch on towards the high tide which would be really cool I would like to catch a couple more squid but you know it's all about getting out there giving it a go like I always say uh, you know, something completely new and different um, tried tonight so we literally don't really have a clue what we're doing um, just having a go so I literally, literally have no idea what we're doing whatsoever. Um, but you know, it's good to get out of the comfort zone and try something completely different. bring it back if anything happens because at the moment it is pretty dull and I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to sit here watching me wind this little wheel in very slowly like this so yeah I'll bring you back if anything happens so there we were complaining that we haven't had anything for ages and uh, Cliff just banged straight into another one yes look at that Absolutely lovely. Oh, there we go. Hold him up there, let's have a look. Decent again. Nice one, mate, a nice size as well. Look at the size of that. That's alright, there. Mate, you're showing me up tonight. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me. Held on the suckers in the bottom right there. Absolutely awesome. Nice one, mate. Yeah, I think I've got one. I think I've got one. I think I've got a squid. Oh, what's going on with my bloody reel here? Hopefully it stays on. Yeah, that looks like a good one. Come on, Mr. Squid. Yeah, that looks like a nice, that's a nice squid. Oh, that's a nice one, man. Woo! Oh, get in, look at that one, man. Happy days. Oh, man, I've been waiting for ages for that. Ugh. Yes, boy. Just a quick change of the, of the colour has resulted in another squid for us. Awesome. Right, so just a quick change in the colour of the squid jig has resulted in this absolutely cracking squid for me. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Really, really enjoying this way of fishing, to be fair. So completely new, completely different. And uh, just a cracking way to spend an evening. Minimal tackle and catching some really weird, crazy creatures like this. Awesome. Right, it's a quick thing to dispatch a squid. Um, hardboard, you don't want to do it on the on the gravel. And then just a quick, short chop to the top. There we go. And you should see it completely drain of colour and go white. Should get a pure white. I'll show you. Take it off there. There you go. All the colour will drain from it. We go pure white, and you know it's humanely being dispatched. Quick effective and there we go right so I'm going back into the box of fun retire this one here oh it seems to do a little bit of damage on that yeah look didn't last very long at all a little bit of damage there to the jacket of that there we go right let's go for a bright orange one Let's see how we do with that. Ooh. There we go. So he's trying all the different ones. Ooh, have a look at some of the other ones here. They're coming apart. 
No, they seem to be alright. Just that one. So I might have dragged it across the shingle or something like that. So look at the other one. Yeah, it seems to be alright. Yeah, just that one there then. Slightly come apart. Bit of glue on that would be fine. Right, let's crack on. Well, I think I'm into another squid. It's been quite a while since I had a last, last one. I'm just trying to keep the pressure on this. Spraying water everywhere. It's going to come down. Yeah, there we go. Happy days. Happy days. It's really weird. They're coming drips and drabs. So I thought it was going to be absolutely prolific tonight. Absolutely prolific. But they've come. One here, one there, one there, one there. It's not been a steady flow, they've been a couple here and then nothing for ages. And a couple here and then nothing for ages. But yeah, there we go. Happy days. Good to see another one there. Right folks, so there we have it. Quick change to a smaller jig. Really, really small one that one. And bang, straight into another. Another little squid there. Absolutely awesome. Happy days. And there we go, the boy Wonder Cliff, back in to another squid. Happy days, mate. Nice. And that's on the multicolored jig. Let's have a look at that one. That is a pretty cool jig. There we go. It's got a bit of every color. Nice weight on that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well done, mate. It's full of water. Happy days. Yeah. Right, so we're back out again. We're kind of nearing the high tide mark now. So uh, apparently this is when it's supposed to be at its best. So we will see. But yeah man, what a cool night. What a cool cool thing to do to be fair. I like say. Didn't really know what to expect. Thought it was gonna come down here and have an absolute mare. But it's not been too bad and we've ended up with some good some good squid. Yeah, another take then. Yeah, it's very weird. Like you, you kind of like give it a little bit of a reel, and then a pause, and then a little pull, and then you stop, and then you give it a little reel, a pause, and a pull, and then stop. And then when you get a bite, you can feel that it probably pulls the, the, the tip of the rod round. Like I say I'm only using my um, lure fishing rod, so. I mean, if you really wanted to get into this sort of fishing, you'd buy a, I think it's called an EGI squid rod. Uh, and they're like ultra, ultra sensitive, um, and you'll be able to feel all the little pools of the squid, and you know, it's much more, much more, um, what do you call it, responsive, if, if you get what I mean. But um, for, for us, just wanted to give it a go. Uh, just using the, the uh, lures that we currently got are sufficient for you know what we want to do to have a quick mess around. But yeah, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's a good video and you guys get something from it. But like I say it's pretty much uh, really say a, a new sort of fishing thing for us, and you know we, we, we're kind of learning as we go along. So like I say hopefully we'll get something from this video. Even if it inspires you to get out and give it a go yourself, to me, yeah, that's what, what hopefully it will do. I'm just reading in the slack now, and then I'm just pausing, giving it a couple of pulls, like that. And then reading in the slack, and again, letting it, letting it fall in the tide. There's quite a lot of movement in the water. If you look at the water now, there's quite a lot of movement in the water. So it will kind of just do its own thing.
Yeah, we're back into a squid, we're back into a squid, lead, lead, lead. Yeah, we're back into a squid. I think I'm over a cliff here, over the other side of the cliff. I can see a squid on the line. I'm going in the water to get him. There we go, happy days. Uh, spraying everywhere. There we go. Happy days, happy days. There we go. Another one for the uh, for the box. Awesome. Right, so I'm just checking the Lightning Maps website because there's loads of lightning coming across over the channel. Um, we are the little blue dot here, as you can see on the map there and that is a huge cluster of lightning coming over there so I mean I don't really want to be it looks like it's hit Eastbourne already which is there we're Brighton there so it is big she is a big one a big thunderstorm Gonna see where it's gonna go. One fifty, yeah, so it's gonna hit us around about one fifty. So we've got about half an hour left. So better get on and do some fishing. And just as I turn around to look at the lightning map, clear pulls in an absolute cracker of a squid. There we go. I only just got it, look. Oh, and it's just gone all over him. Just, just <laughs> and again. I point it at you, look, there you go. It's <laughs> like a water pistol. <laughs> oh, God. God, it's all good fun, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Good enough. Right, folks, so here is our haul so far. I think we've got about 10, 9 or 10 altogether. The biggest one so far is Cliff's one there, which is nearly the same size as the chopping board, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a nice squid overall. And, a, you know, really nice, enjoyable evening. So, yeah, not too bad at all. We still got a bit left of the session, so hopefully we'll be able to add a couple more. But, yeah, from a couple of amateurs, it's not too bad. Also keen to know your opinions. Let me know what you think on the, the squid jigs. Let's say, if you know of any better brands, let me know. I know the Yamashita ones are pretty good. Like I say, these H2O ones, after one session, uh, just seem to be splitting. Or well, it's only this one and the other one the same colour seem to be splitting down there. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you know how to repair these as well, just let me know. Might be able to dollop a bit of glue on there and just push that back in. Hopefully that'll be the case. But yeah, let us know what you think. What's your favourite squid jig? This is quite a decent one here. Is that a cut? Yes. That was a decent sized one. Yeah, look at that. That's a really nice long one. That's a nice one. Might be as big as Cliff's. Really? Right, so we're kind of near enough finishing up now. Just had an absolute cracker. Look at the size of that. Absolute cracker. These little uh, jigs have been really good tonight, the really small ones. Uh, probably caught most of the ones I've had on the little ones, to be fair. But yeah, look at the size of that for one to kind of nearly end the session on. Absolutely awesome. Let's get them in the bag. Right, guys, so there you have it. Um, a squid fishing bonanza video. Not as prolific as we, we thought it was going to be after hearing catch reports from the local area uh, from other people that have fished here over the last couple of days, um, getting 80 or 90 squid a session. But, you know, we gave, come here, we gave it a good go. Um, just using, like I said, the H2O Nebula rod. The small size 4000 spinning reel and just clipping on the jigs and just casting them out and uh giving a couple of twitches found that the best way to best way to do it was just to cast it out and sometimes just to leave it in the tide and then let it work its way around in the tide and give it a couple of odd twitches and then occasionally give it a small crank of the reel uh, but yeah not much movement in it whatsoever um the, the the less movement that you put in there um the more likely you were to get a strike um, I found personally uh, the jigs that I was using, the smaller ones, seem to be best. 
if you are thinking about coming out and doing it yourself, uh, make sure you get into some uh, get some um, clothes that you don't mind getting a bit dirty because there's a lot of ink involved, as you probably guys kind of know. Uh, I think we round off the session with about 15 squid between us, roughly. Um, again, like I say, when we come down there, we weren't expecting to get anything. So, you know, all in all, it's a good session. Hopefully, you got something from the video, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.